so today we are going to show you an ultimate wireless network that we have created using ESP8266. It is a 32 bit microcontroller which is having on chip Wi Fi. So it is running a DCP IP stack providing an 80% of processing power to the user app. So let's say we have, for an example, we have created a network of three nodes. There are three ESP8266 as you can see in the block diagram. So these three are the ESP8266 which are operating in station mode and they are connected to the home router okay now this is the home network now there are three ways that we have, that we have provided in our network so you can access these three wireless ESP8266 node network from within your network and from outside of the network so for that there are three ways now each of the ESP8266 are running three different things and which are the entry points for the gateway one is the local base server so if you are within the range of the network so you can access these nodes by using your web server that is running on ESP8266 another is a gateway now a gateway could be any laptop or raspberry pi that is running an SSH server so this SSH server will be port forwarded so you can have simple SSH client application and from that you can get an access to the gateway. Now gateway is running an application that will connect to the ESP8266. Each of these nodes will be able to access by gateway. So you can access your home network from anywhere by simply using an SSH client that connects to your SSH server of gate gateway. Now third is the most preferable and easiest way to access your home network from anywhere in the world that is by using a website. So simply there is, if we are the website will have a GUI so you can turn on off your lights, get the status of any appliances, anything that you can do with the website. So now we are going to show you the demo of hardware. Okay, so as, uh, as I uh, explained previously, so we have three ESP8266 uh, that I have a program and these are now connected by USB cable to my laptop. So uh, I have programmed them since that they are providing you the terminal type functionality so you can interface with ESP266 at the runtime. So you can do some runtime configuration that we are going to see. Okay. So uh, this is the terminal uh, that is being running on my ESP8266 and uh, we are going to type help command so it will give us all the runtime configuration that my ESP8266 is supporting. So these are the commands as of now. So first of all, we are going to be, uh, see the first way of accessing the network that will be if we are in the range of network, if we are in direct range of network, so we will use uh, access point mode. So in which uh, we type the setup ab command, so that will configure the ESP8266 in access point mode and we will host the web server on that ESP8266 and access it for controlling any home appliances that is connected to the ESP8266. So now I'm going to type the command start babe server that will start the babe server and open server port. Okay. Now I'm going to go and connect to my ESPs. Um, okay. So this is my uh, access point ESP API. Okay. Okay. It is the one. Now we are going to access its babe uh, server. So whenever I configure the access point, uh, I mean ESP266 in access point mode, it is getting the default IP address as 172.16.0.1. So we are going to simply going to type the IP address that is this and it is going to take us to the web server. So this is the web server that is running on uh, my ESP8266. It's uh, I have given it the name Wired SPN. So here we are. Uh, it, it is showing the uptime and uh, free heap memory and uh, LED status that is onboard LED that is in on status. So you can see. Now we are going to go to the configuration. Okay. Now here you can see I have created a simple GUI that can. Uh, control the bulb that is connected to the access point or node 1 or node 2 okay so here again you can see the server status i mean the node who is running the web server this is its uh, status its uptime that is continuously, continuously getting updated and its uh, free heat memory okay now here is the node status that you can choose any node to know its uptime and its rank and array status etc now we are going to simply uh, turn on or off the onboard LED of access point. 
Now, as you can see, it is already in the on state. I have done it to the on state. Here you can see the state is changed. Now, okay. Now we are going to see. Uh, I don't know which of these ESP two sixty is in access point. Let's find out. So I am turning off uh, the access point. Okay. So I turn off. And which one is? Okay, that one is access point. Now let's bring it closer to the screen so you can see the runtime. Like, uh, okay. Now I'm going to turn on the onboard LED. So see, this is the access point, and I'm controlling its LED via web server. So you can simply type in this uh, type uh, IP address in your cell phone itself, and you can have the same GUI on your cell itself, and you can control your any home appliance connected to this network. Okay, so previously we see uh, how you can access your ESP8266 network using web server that is already running on ESP. If you're in range of that, uh, like direct range of network. Now suppose if you're outside the outside your home, uh, out, anywhere out, outside your home. Now you want to access your local network, but uh, you are not in direct range of your network. So you can do it via another method that I explained earlier via SSH server or client. So for that we will configure the ESP8266 in the station mode that will be connected to your home router. Now we have already um, uh, inserted the command connect Wi-Fi here and uh, we have given it the SSID and password. Uh, this everything have been given at the runtime itself. Now it is operating in station mode and connected to my home router. Now uh, we are simply uh, have previously explained that for having the SSH server client, you will need to have a gateway that will be running an SSH server as the ESP266 cannot run the SSH server. So here my laptop is acting as an SSH server and I have written an application that will communicate with uh, my ESP266. Okay, so we are going to uh, take the SSH, uh, we are going to connect from a cell phone. Uh, with this SSH server that is running on my ESP uh, I mean laptop. So here you can see this is the SSH client and it is connected to my SSH server that is running on gateway. Now uh, this is the application that will communicate with ESP266. So here I'm going to type in the command. Uh, so as of now you can see the onboard LED is off. So we will type the command help on that I have programmed. So it will be blinking that LED. I am turning on that LED. So here we, I am typing the command hash on. Wait, first we have to connect with ESP8266. <laughs> I totally forgot. Okay, so we are connecting with ESP8266. So it's IP address 192.168. So here you can see uh, connection has been established with ESP8266. Now I'm going to type in the command hash uh, on and see. You can see both uh, the onboard LED is blinking. Now this SSH server this is running on my mobile data and uh, my laptop and ESP8266. These are in my home router network and you are accessing the, your home network from outside your network. Now I'm going to turn off the LED. Hash off. And it's off. Now I'm going to fetch the status of my uh, 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 ESP8266 that I'm connected with. Status. And this is its status. As you can see, uh, this is the it is sending us the uptime, its IP address, its interface status that is currently off, so it is giving us zero. Now I'm again going to turn on the LED. Okay, so now we have seen uh, how to access the network using web server if you are in direct range of network. Now and also using SSH server client if you are outside the range of your network and if you want to access your home network. Now third is the most feasible and most easiest way to access your home network from anywhere in the world by using a website. So here again we are going to configure the these. Uh, 
the ESP8266 in the station mode and uh, uh, we are connecting it uh, with our home router Wi-Fi and uh, now uh, we are starting the uh, its uh, web connect command so here you can see by typing have command there is a command called web connect that fetches the data from our website so we have already a website that is running on the server so it's very heavy html page but uh, uh, it uh, controls the your home data from the web so it's uh, pretty good now let's uh, hit the command web connect so we hit the command web connect and so uh, as you can see now we are going to show you the hardware no first we are going to show you uh, uh, how to access your home network from the website so here we have this website i'm going to give the editing one and its status will be on so it will turn on this uh, bulb that is connected to my uh, uh, esp8266 so it's an example like how you can control your home appliance via website so here i have given the command on and uh, it will turn on the bulb now i'm going to turn off i am writing off here this is off and i'm submitting the query and it will turn on that bulb turn off that bulb so that's how you access your home network from anywhere in the world by simply using a website this is the most easiest way